isolation day 83 tuesday the 9th of june i hope you're well and you're looking after yourselves if you've been on social media this week you may have seen i'm pretty sure you've seen that it is national diabetes week now i didn't even know there was such a thing but there is and there's a lot of postings on there about um, from people saying how diabetes has affected their lives so what I wanted to do today, instead of going into blood sugars and, and number of lows and food that I've eaten, is give you a couple of thoughts that I have in relation to diabetes. And what the postings online say is, look, these are the bad sides, these are the good sides. That got me thinking because let me start with bad sides of diabetes. You know, if you are diagnosed when you're young, what I would say is, it affects your life and your childhood quite dramatically you know you have these episodes that people around you are just not having you your family have to be aware of of your highs and lows you have to be responsible quite young too responsible in many ways so you you don't have the uh, the sort of wanton abandonment that other children have you can't just disappear at eight o'clock in the morning and come back at at nine o'clock at night and not worry about eating you know not worry about food not worry about carbs don't get me wrong what you do also do or what i did was i rebelled against it when i got to my teenage years you know i just kind of wanted to forget the fact i was diabetic so I didn't bother taking my blood sugar. Don't get me wrong, I still took my insulin, but I didn't take my blood sugars. What I didn't do was really control it the way that it needs to be controlled to be in the best of, um, of health. That only really started when I started going to university. And even then I struggled somewhat because I was still just starting to, to, to sort of go into adulthood and um, looking after myself. I realized that I needed to look after myself, but that has connotations of well i'm not going to lock myself away so i never did that I, I i tried very hard as i've mentioned to you guys before i tried really hard to not let diabetes affect what i do or don't do um that's both professionally and personally and certainly at university i don't think many people even knew i was diabetic apart from my close friends because it was no one's business and do that many people know at work probably not because i don't make a huge thing of it you know those are the bad sides really the the fact that it does affect your childhood quite dramatically you have to look after yourself there's a little bit of resentment there actually and i think you get that with with quite a few chronic illnesses you wonder why you go through the stages of grief don't you you know the the five stages of grief or sometimes the seven stages of grief which is something i've mentioned on one of these other videos you know you you go through the questioning why is it me what can I do about it? You know, and then you get depressed and then you, you lash out at people. And I still do that at times nowadays. You know, I still I still get uh, annoyed, uh, frustrated. And um, that's after 35 years. I don't think that'll ever change. The good sides. So the good sides of diabetes. For me, I would say that I am in, considering I'm 42 years old, I'm in pretty damn good shape. And the reason for um, the fact I'm in pretty good shape is because of the diabetes. You know, I don't think I would be probably looking after myself as well as I do now if I didn't have diabetes. I think I would be a little bit more relaxed about things. Um, in so much as when I was at uni and for a few years after uni, a good number of years after uni, used to go to the pub and a pint and a, and a burger kind of guy, you know have a, a pint of beer and get a burger at the bar. You know, I could have been that person for a long, long time, but I decided after a while that wasn't what I needed to do and that wasn't what I should be doing to ensure that I was healthy for the long term. So that's probably a real positive of it. The other thing is it gives you that resilience. You're constantly challenged on a daily basis. People without this or any other chronic illness just don't know they they run their lives and they have their lives i'm not taking anything away from that and they have their own challenges but they don't have to be a pancreas 24 hours a day on top of family work responsibilities earning money all of those things that everyone's life entails that gives you strength 
it gives you a lot of strength because you have to be strong to be able to keep on doing that day in, day out. There is no day off. Um, a friend of mine runs or used to run a pub and he, um, he, he got out of the pub game um, before all the troubles with, um, with pubs, but he got out of the pub game because he said it's 365 days a year and it's a lot, a lot of hours. That's what a chronic illness is. It isn't 12 hours a day, it's 24 hours a day, 365 days a year. There is no uh, time off, there is no holiday, there is no respite, uh, there is no break. And as much as you can take that as a negative, the fact of the matter is that that means you have to be super strong to be able to deal with it and come out of, of it and be, and be confident enough to be um, looking forward and to be progressive. And that takes resilience. Those are the best things about diabetes, you know, and I take that into my entire life. Now, I don't know if it's the diabetes that caused that or it's my family and my my parents and the fact that um that they may be strong i think it's both but the diabetes certainly plays a part you know i am pig-headed i've always been a bad loser but i'm pig-headed to the to the nth degree the fact that i'm a, an accountant and an auditor at one point it's ingrained to check things out and to and to make sure that you that i'm comfortable with things that's the difficulty with diabetes as well it's not a set linear format you know it doesn't work the same way every day you can't do the same things all the time and get the same results consistent analysis plus consistent treatment gives you consistent results it does in many in many many things but with diabetes it doesn't always so that's my overview tonight that's my diabetes week i thought i would um give you my thoughts tomorrow we'll get back to some other stuff but um look look after yourselves i'll catch up with you tomorrow thank you